So if you couldn't already tell from either the title of this video or that fun little intro sequence, V Pupper is a thing now. For those of you who don't know, V Pupper is the continuation or I guess kind of replacement of Open Sea Face GD that has been basically completely redone, kind of ish. Open Sea Face GD was like the prototype version, and V Pupper is now the production version but it's still all done by one guy, so I don't know what the difference is. <laughs> but basically, this is going to be the final name for the software, and it's gonna have what all the big fancy features are gonna be added to, instead of just trying to get the basics down, which is what Open Seaface GD was done. And we're gonna go over what those things are. So V Pupper is now the production version where any new features that aren't core features, like the tracking and stuff, are gonna be added to, and it's gonna be built out and fleshed out over time what those features are, what are the plans for the future, and what makes this program actually any different, or what are we going to be discussed in this video, and I hope to stick around to find out and see, hey, what can free VTuber software actually do? So to start things off, why VPupper? What what is VPupper? Why is is it is it a virtual dog? Are we gonna are we gonna pet dogs in this software? Actually, you wouldn't write that down. That sounds pretty dope. No, you're not gonna pet any dogs. At least I don't think so. Unless you one actually does that. Uh, VPupper stands for Virtual Puppeting Program or Virtual Puppeteer Program. I forget exactly which one. It's one of the two. You'll have to check the GitHub to see exactly what it is. Basically, it is a program for puppeteering a virtual character. Pretty self-explanatory, but kind of a cool name. I had initially made an icon for it with this like sort of V logo and like a purple color scheme. And then someone made a duck and you know what? Duck's better. <laughs> I fully admit that. The duck idea is better. <laughs> who, who doesn't want to have a pixel duck on their taskbar or window manager or whatever? Justice for pixel ducks. Even though there's been absolutely no injustice to them whatsoever. This part's gonna get cut. This is, this, that was a stupid joke. No, as far as new features, there really aren't any new features right now at least at the moment. New features are going to be added later. This is just the program where new features will be added and there will be actual new features, not just improvements to core functionalities. So for example, one thing Ewan is playing around with and considering is having a way to use two different tracking sources. Like say you want to have something for your hand tracking and something for your face tracking, or maybe, uh, Ewan's also really considering, I think this is the first thing that he's going to implement is different tracking um, softwares. So right now it uses OpenSea Face, but he's also working on potentially having it to where you can use OpenSea Face or MediaPipe, depending on which one you like more or which one you prefer to have, which I think is really cool. Having more than one option that gives you a little bit more flexibility. If your model, you'd like how it moves more with media pipe, you could swap to that. If you're like me and you like how the tracking and stuff works for open C phase and you want to keep using that, you can, you have options. Options are always nice and they're always good. It's never a bad thing to have options. Well, I guess there is a bad case of having options where if you're being overworked because of the sheer amount of options, and you have trouble making any of them good options, that would probably be a problem. I'm getting off track. So what other things are coming along with those? Uh, well, basically everything. Another thing that is probably gonna be ended added at some point is the ability to use phone trackers. I know Ewan's kind of thrown around the idea. Again, I have no idea when or if any of these actually are gonna be implemented. I just know there are ideas that Ewan's been throwing around and that this is the point where those things are going to start slowly rolling in if he feels like it. It's his project at the end of the day. If he wants to stop right here, then so be it. Someone else can fork it and do it if they want. By the way, again, this software is open source. If you are a developer who likes making stuff for the VTuber community and you know how to software develop and all that stuff, 
by all means, go to the GitHub, I'll have it linked down below, and write up some features and see if you and will merge them. Who knows, you might make this into a better program than VC Face or something. I don't actually know if that's going to happen. Uh, uh, Miliano, please don't hate me. I, uh, you make amazing software. I'm using your tracker. It's amazing. Please, I just, uh, just, we all just want to help each other. We all just want to make good stuff, I swear. This is what happens when I don't take ADHD medication. V Pepper has been in development for a long time under the guise of OpenC Face GD. And it's not done. If you actually see on my taskbar, if I go over to uh, my desktop real quick, you can actually see that it still says in my little title bar and in my um, bottom panel, it still says Open C Face GD. That's because VPupper is still really new. It's still not a 1.0 release. It's technically Open C Face GD version 0.9, but he went ahead and changed the name to VPupper because it's going to be the name going forward. Another big thing that has happened in this software is that the Linux side got a huge huge change that's super awesome. The pupper is on Flathub. One of the members of my Discord, Oro, who is also a member of Ewan's Discord, went and packaged it as a flat pack and got it on Flathub, which is amazing. It means anyone on any Linux distribution, as long as you have flat pack, you can use this software and just download it without having to worry about compiling it or finding the right binaries or all that stuff or having to see, oh, do I need to run a tracker externally? If like me, for some reason, the tracker for the uh, pre-built version for GitHub just refused to work for some reason. I don't know why. It's very strange. But yeah, I am actually using the Flatpak build now. And because of that, you can see that my tracking on my mouth is a lot better than it is in previous videos or even in my previous streams. And that's because the Flatpak version fixed my issue of the built-in tracker just not working. Uh, for the longest time, I was having to run OpenC Face separately by itself and then bridge its stuff over into VPupper. And I was the only one having this issue. No one else could reproduce it. I don't know what it was. But the flat pack bird, but the flat pack version, words are hard. It's working now. My mouth moves the way it should. It moves quickly. It syncs somewhat accurately. It's not perfect, but I mean, I'm an anime character, so who cares about perfection, honestly? <laughs> Uh, but it's great. The only thing that I'm missing now is a way to track my hands. Yeah, the, these things don't really do anything right now, which sucks because I talk with my hands. If you saw me recording in my room, my hands are all over the place. I would love a way to track my hands while I talk. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist yet. But that is a potential feature that's being discussed. So, hey, if you and can find some way to have two different tracking methods and two different tracking inputs at the same time, I will absolutely do that. Essentially what my setup would be is I'd have open C face tracking my face and I'd have media pipe tracking my hands on a secondary webcam. It wouldn't be perfect, but it would be good enough for me. And hey, it'd be nice for anyone else who wanted to. It's free. <laughs> All you need is two webcams. I think that'd be pretty cool. I have two webcams. Well, I have a webcam and a PS3 PlayStation Eye which turns out works like a webcam on Linux just by plugging it in, which is kind of cool. Apparently on Windows, you have to do some weird workarounds, but on Linux, it just worked. So yeah, eventually I'm going to turn that into a hand tracker. Now, another thing I want to discuss is with VPupper coming so close to a 1.0 release, there is one thing that's a little bit concerning, and that's that, again, Ewan is really the only one working on this. It's amazing and it's impressive, but this is just a passion project. He has other things he wants to make. He makes games all the time. These short little game jam games all the time. They're super cool. Uh, <laughs> I've somewhat influenced one uh, one of the creatures in one of them because <laughs> he made it on stream. And so chat just uh, kept giving him ideas and uh, he made this little mini horror game and we made a monstrosity it was kind of great. <laughs> I say we, but all we did is just shout out ideas and then Ewan actually made them because Ewan is the one with any actual skills in that realm for now. One day, one day I shall have the same skill set, maybe, or something similar. I just want to help with these projects. They're so cool. Now, while we're over on the desktop, let's go ahead and take a look at the interface for OpenC Face GD version 9, better known as VPupper. It looks exactly the fucking same. Now, when you update to this version, uh, if you go over to your presets, you may find that your presets are all gone. You will need to recreate these, unfortunately. 
you might be able to drag and drop the files if you know where they're stored. I don't, so I didn't try that. I just went ahead. I only have like two poses I save. I don't know what all these are. Oh, these are different models. Okay, yeah, that's right. So I don't really do all that much. Also, if you go over to the app settings, you'll see that the FXAA and the MSAA settings are back. That has been off this whole time. Well, that explains why I was so jagged. I totally forgot to turn that on. I look so smooth and perfect with this on. This looks so good. Ah, but I like the transparent background too much. Okay, enough messing around. Um, I'm still upset that I forgot to turn MSAA on. I've been looking like a jagged mess for like three weeks now. <laughs> Over in the features, you still have the main light environment, uh, environmental light props, which I still have not for the life of me figured out how to work. The props might be fixed. I can't remember. I know they broke in one of the more recent updates. I think they were fixed. Oh, geez. I don't want to go searching for a file. I'll leave a pinned comment down below when I try this out later before this video is posted on whether or not the props are fixed or not. Your tracking settings are pretty much the same. You've got all these settings right here. I still leave link eye blinks on because I don't really do any winking or anything. I don't have a reason to. I can kind of wink though. Nope. Nope. Really can't. I can close one halfway. This, this is the closest to a wink I'm going to get. I, the blinking looks better like that. I would turn them off. It's just, they're just out of sync. It does the same thing. It's not any different, <laughs> at least for me. Maybe you'll have better luck than I will with that. Uh, again, you have the built-in tracker. I just leave the Python path default. I leave everything default, honestly, and just turn on should launch tracker. You select your camera right here. Mine was like camera zero or something. Camera names on Linux are weird. And you can do the lip syncs. Wait, they're off for me. What about now? Oh, A-E-I-O-U. Okay, well, does this look any better? I actually think it looks better without them. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, I like how it looks without it. I, don't, I really can't tell that much of a difference, honestly. And when you go to your model settings, these are all pretty much the same. You've got your zoom model, rotate model, move model, which you can also do by like holding control and alt and different combinations that I forget off the top of my head. Um, you have an auto A pose, auto T pose buttons now. These are really useful. I The A pose is not quite right for my model, so I go through and I manually pose them. Because uh, if I go through here, oh no, they're all off. So these are all my bones for my model. So I'll do something like uh, I manually will pose like my upper arm, da, 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 da. Um, which my model pose is close to the standard A pose. I use that as a base and then I just slightly modify it. I think I bring my shoulders up one, my upper arms down like another one or two, and then my lower arm down one more. And that's how I get my standard pose. And I just save that as a preset, save that as default pose, and I just set model as default and I'm done. I never have to mess with it again, unless I want to do crazy poses, which part of me kind of does. I should consider that. How about a stream of stream poses? <laughs> Chat poses me on stream. Oh God, that sounds like a nightmare. I'd have to make sure I had a way to reset it afterwards. Oh, so you should watch me on twitch.tv slash it's link in the description. But that's pretty much it. You can click one of these buttons twice to make them appear and disappear. And then as always, now the hotkey, I think used to be uh, like control or something or no. I forget what the old hotkey used to be. The hotkey had changed a few versions back. Um, now to hide everything, you press escape, which I think is a better key to use overall. But there you have it. That is the first version of VPupper and version 0.9 of OpenSteveAce GD. Same thing from this point forward that is going to be called VPupper. That is the new official name of the project. It's a lot more of its own unique identity. Again, it has a duck icon. Come on, who doesn't want a duck icon? But that's gonna do it for me. Is there any features I went over that you thought were great? Do you think any of them seem kind of pointless? Uh, do you have any ideas that you would rather have? Is there another software that I should check out instead of using VPupper? Leave all that and more in the comments down below. I try to read as many of them as I can when I get a chance. And hey, if you want to follow me and hear more of my nonsense, you can check me out over on Twitch. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Mastodon and all that fun stuff. You can join my Discord or my Matrix. All of that is linked down below. I've been Rogren. I will see you all next time. Peace out. <laughs>